Hey guys, it's Jess the Crafter coming at you with a small Dollar Tree haul. And I also have a two video part today. I will be doing first the Dollar Tree and then I will be done posting up also a Michaels haul that I did yesterday um, afternoon. So um, I'm going to show you everything I got. That's pretty dope. I got a lot of pretty cool um, pieces and a lot of sale items a lot people a lot Michaels has the biggest sale right now but let's get started to on this um, Dollar Tree haul that I have and I'm using my baskets that I got from Marshall's they were also on sale so let's get to it so my Dollar Tree finally found fine finally sorry brought in the t-shirts and these t-shirts, it says Youth T. And since I am a very small person, it says Youth T. And it says, um, the that's the name brand of the shirt. And it says an extra small. It's a v-neck. I don't really wear v-necks, but since it's an extra small, I can deal. I found two in white, so I got both the white ones. Both extra small. Um... My Dollar Tree Harley brings them. I This is the second time I found them, so I grabbed them. Then they also had this um, same brand, Anvil, small adult tee. It's a little bit bigger. I'm going to do something on this, and then I am going to put it up for uh, sale or give it to someone I want to design it in a certain way, so that's what I'm going to do with that one. Then I found two of the Dollar Tree canvases, size 11 by 14 inch inches. Sorry. They were the last two at my store, so I grabbed those. Then I found these. As this was the day from the walkthrough, um, I have put it up recently. These were from the walkthrough. This is from that Dollar Tree on Sunday walkthrough. It is a maple garland, five feet. I got four, but there are two different styles. This style is one style. And this is a, another style. So, I got four, so I got two of each style. And then I also found me the metal basket. Then I found these decorative pillows from the Dollar Tree. Here's one, it says Happy Harvest and it is a it is a hanging decor. Then this one says Bless Our Family. Then this one says Grateful Hearts Gather Here. So if you could see what is my theme going to be this year of um, for towards fall is going to be more on the uh, RNG pumpkin kind and uh, the black and white checkered. And this one says give thanks. So I grabbed one of each of those because I did not want many of them being hung around. I want to do a very simple and light decor this year then um, I also found these fat squares created it says created fat squares 8 by 21 inches and it's 100% cotton I got the road with the little cars I found the one with the shark I got two of those actually then I found this pattern with circles and stripes. Then I found the dinosaur one. And I also found a 
baby themed i want to say very neutral colors it has the yellow the light grays um it has a giraffe and it has different little animals i will be using this for a, a gift for someone and i'm going to open one up to show you how big they are even though i gave you the measurements i'm just going to show you how big they are look at that there so for all my um, fabric seekers, I know these cost more at Michael's because like I said, I was there the other day. This is not a bad piece to make two things out of this. This is very big, very big. So you can actually, if you're a person that likes to make masks or um, baby items and things like that, these are great for that um, if you have a theme already. So. Just look out for those at Dollar Tree. Like I said, these are hot commodity when it comes here for us. They go very fast, so that's why I grabbed it. Um, then I also grabbed another tarp mat because the other one, I already threw it out because it definitely was getting messed up. And then my Dollar Tree, I didn't notice that these don't have caps. Maybe they're in here, but maybe they're not, but I guess not. My Dollar Tree had these two ounce um, Germex moisturizing hand sanitizer spray. Kills uh, germs in 15 seconds. And it's these. So I grabbed four of these. Then I found more of their uh, paint brushes that I found the other day with the three set that were very soft. So I got me three of these. So that's nine in total for three dollars. So that's not bad. Then I found the binders for school, going back to school. And I will be using this for the rest of my uh, papers that I have. And it also has two pockets, one here and one here so I thought that was cool and then since I got a new glue gun and it's a bigger one I grabbed two packs of the glue sticks from the crafted square from Dollar Tree brand and that is all for today with my Dollar Tree haul everything here basically is what I wanted for my decors I got to see a few things that I wanted for the fall. Um, a lot of other stuff like the wall um, decor that they had. Sorry if I have my back to you. All of the wall decor that they did have, I did not like because it has glitter. Once again, I don't do glitter, so I tend not to grab anything with glitter. So, that being said, I have a few... DIYs that I was getting into and I finished so let me talk about that with you real quick before I end the video and start my Michaels haul preview to put on the other video for you guys and try to work on that as well for today because it's a lot uh, well today I'm going to show you I made this yesterday And someone gave me a great idea that I can use this as a bathroom wall decor. Um, it is have a tape here because I will be painting this over. And it is real wood. And I'm going to show you guys what I use. And you can find this also at your local Dollar Tree. It is called the Pouring Medium. Um, Sar Sergeant Art made in the US and it says it to shake well pour swirl um, put whatever paint I wanted to just so it can look like that and it finishes like a resin so it this is the product and as you can see that is how much I used yesterday for this project yes I see there there is holes but every craft has an imperfection 
I did put a lot, but unfortunately it did leave little spots, but overall it looks amazing. So with that, I'm trying to still decide if I'm going to do black or white or maybe a half and half black and white type of theme and leave like a stripe of the of the um of the wood i'm not too sure yet i know i'm leaving the rest of the of the half all wood but i will get there when i get there and i'll show you that once it's done as well now, another thing that I have for you guys to see was that I recently posted up, if you follow me on Instagram, a DIY that I did myself with my daughter's old uh, laundry basket. And it was also at one point her waste basket, but we cleaned it out and made it into a laundry basket. We repurposed it. She put on stickers and she didn't want it anymore and I got her a whole new waste basket for her clothes so she decided that she no longer wanted it so I decided that I needed somewhere to keep my wraps and keep my papers that are big and I like my wraps for occasions and my poster boards and things like that that are big and they take up a lot of space so I did myself my own wrapping paper basket using glossy black paint spray paint and the 11 feet jute rope from crafter square um from dollar tree so this is the finished product on that so yes guys i have been doing diys little imperfections but it's on towards the back and as you can see i already put my transfer papers anything that's like of that sort in there so i thought that would came out so great and so elegant again guys Feel free to follow my Instagram. It's just underscore the underscore crafter. Um, leave comments, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to see something or me create something, leave a comment below and I'll, and I'll definitely get to it. Well, you guys have a great one. God bless.